Hi, my name is Steve Ansell. I'm one of the hematologists at Mayo Clinic. I am part of the lymphoma group and my interest is in Hodgkin lymphoma and other B-cell cancers. Hodgkin lymphoma is a kind of cancer that is associated with abnormal B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes are part of your normal immune system but when they become abnormal and grow in a cancerous fashion can cause lots of enlarged lymph nodes and lots of uh, constitutional symptoms. Hodgkin lymphoma patients often present with enlarged lymph nodes in the neck or chest, sometimes also in the abdomen, many times with symptoms such as fevers or sweating, losing a lot of weight, and commonly itching of the skin. The diagnosis is uh, made by a biopsy which shows a typical cell called a Reed Sternberg cell present in the tumor, so in the tumor environment, and uh, this cell attracts a lot of the immune system which causes lymph nodes to become enlarged and patients to have many of the constitutional symptoms uh, that they often present with. The goal of treatment is to kill the Reed Sternberg cells and to decrease this inflammatory response and to cause patients to have a good outcome by re restoring the immune system back to normal. Patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, once they've been diagnosed and have completed a staging evaluation, uh, can then proceed to chemotherapy. A staging evaluation is when a CAT scan, a PET scan, blood work, and sometimes a bone marrow test is done to determine where in the body the Hodgkin lymphoma is present. That's an important evaluation because it determines treatment, and treatment is largely defined in two large categories. Firstly are patients who have limited stage disease. This is disease that's localized just on one side of the diaphragm and that allows for patients to be treated with shorter courses of chemotherapy, commonly then with radiation therapy added as a consolidation. Patients who have more extensive disease, in other words advanced stage disease, have, have disease on both sides of their diaphragm and commonly then are treated with just chemotherapy but for a more prolonged period of time. The expectation is that most patients will benefit from treatment. Uh, probably around 80% of patients will have a complete response to treatment. In other words, all detectable disease will resolve. The goal, however, is to ensure that patients remain in a durable remission. In other words, that it does not come back for the long term. Much though many patients do benefit from treatment and have a very good long-term outcome, that's not universal. There are some patients, unfortunately, that still have problems with their disease returning and may need to go on to additional chemotherapy and even possibly an autologous stem cell transplant. It's because of the fact that not every single patient has a good outcome that we at Mayo Clinic are focusing on new therapies and ways to improve standard therapies so that we can potentially have 100% of patients in the future have a good outcome with treatment for Hodgkin lymphoma. The lymphoma group at Mayo Clinic are focusing on improving treatments for patients with Hodgkin lymphoma. Ways in which we wish to improve uh, the treatments that we are currently administering is to ensure that a higher percentage of patients have a complete response to treatment, the so-called first milestone toward a good long-term outcome, and also that we can improve the outcomes by diminishing long-term toxicities. We are currently participating or leading multiple clinical trials in both early stage and advanced stage patients where we are looking to improve the outcomes of patients by adding new drugs to a combination chemotherapy. In patients where the disease has subsequently recurred or come back, we are also looking at adding and testing new drugs in that environment to ensure that patients are restored to a complete remission and hopefully again have a good long-term outcome. In uh, the frontline setting in patients who have just been diagnosed, currently we are looking at adding a new drug called brentuximab vidotin. This is an antibody with a chemotherapy attached, uh, attached to the antibody that is delivered right to the cancer cell. We are using this agent in combination with standard chemotherapy and comparing it then to the standard combination approach that has been used in the past. Also, in early stage uh, Hodgkin lymphoma, we are looking at ways to limit long-term toxicities by limiting the use of radiation therapy. 
and again are using new drugs, so brintuximab, vedotin being one of them, in combination with standard chemotherapy and omitting radiation therapy in the hopes of having better long-term outcomes as far as more patients having an excellent response to treatment and fewer patients having long-term toxicities. Mayo Clinic is leading much of the research in the area of Hodgkin lymphoma and is at the forefront of new therapies for this disease. We feel that our combined approach of utilizing multidisciplines, all talking and coordinating care together, everything from the, every, everyone from the surgeon that does the biopsy through to the radiologist who does the scanning and the testing uh, for, as part of the staging evaluation, the pathologist that reviews the biopsy, and uh, the radiation oncologist and hematologist who work together to do the treatment. This is a coordinated team to give the patients the most greatest likelihood of a good outcome for therapy. Along with that, we are utilizing new treatments in combination with standard approaches to hopefully give patients the highest likelihood of a good response to treatment and the greatest likelihood of a long-term durable remission and potentially a long-term cure. Furthermore, we're focusing on using treatments that minimize long-term toxicities so that for those patients who have an excellent long-term outcome, they are not uh, struggling with long-term problems from the treatment they may have received years before. This coordinated effort with all of the members of the team working together is hopefully going to improve the outcome of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma in the future.